Hi Rahul, how are you? Yes, ma'am, I am fine. Okay, so let me uh, let you you introduce yourself. Uh, like, what is your achievement? So, what is the score that you have scored in meet, and what is the rank? Okay, so uh, my name is Rahul Kumar. I am from Bokaro, Jharkhand. And this year I have appeared for NEET UZ exam and I have scored 681 out of 720 uh, with a rank of 8,413 and category rank of 3,000. Uh, 3, and uh, uh, so this was the introduction. Okay. So which is the college that you're aiming for? Uh, I'm aiming for my state uh, best college, uh, that is Reams Rachi. Okay, great. So, uh, can you tell me how did you manage uh, the NEET examination as well as boards? Uh, I was a dropper. So, actually, I, was, uh, I have already completed my class 12. So, I was all totally focused towards the NEET exam. So, oh, great. So which which drop is it? Like how many drops you have taken as of now? Uh, second drop. Actually, this, this was second. second. Okay, okay. Now, uh, I have some more questions. Which are the books that you referred, uh, like, or maybe any material that you referred for NEET exam? Uh, actually, uh, I was uh, totally dependent on the DPPs, which was provided after the class. Uh, then... Uh, uh, modules uh, and then I was uh, some uh, I was having some MCQs books but I was really solving those whenever I was getting time but I was totally dependent on uh, the DPPs and the NCRTs and that was the only thing so you are suggesting your juniors that no need to refer any extra book if they take a subscription or yeah, modules can be solved because it will enhance the practice. So yeah, I am referring the modules. If they are having some, they can solve it. Okay. So no need to buy too much of books. Mm -hmm. just for the right. Uh, one more important question. Many of the droppers or students who are going to take drop, they will have that how to overcome the failure and demotivation. Because you have taken the second drop and I'm very sure uh, right. you would be demotivated uh, and especially from the relatives you would have heard that taunt. So how did you overcome that? Uh, actually, um, a lot of, lot of talking was there. Uh, everyone was asking the same question. Uh, will, we able to, will you be able to do this year or you will take another drop? But uh, I was thinking that if I will do the same thing uh, consistently i will going to focus on my uh, goal which was uh, which i set for the same day uh, i am i was very much hopeful that uh, one day i will able to clear it so i was not uh, thinking much for that because i was knowing that uh, i can do so i will just do the same thing and i will not think much about uh, the failures or the outcome of the result so i was <laughs> relaxed by the time Okay, so uh, which batch exactly uh, you were watching? So, I mean, which is the batch that you were accessing and you were following? Actually, uh, in my first drop, uh, I, I got to know about physics wala, uh, when two to three months was left. So, I took uh, Yakin English batch at that time. So, uh, yeah, I was able to complete the course, but not so according to uh, myself, that was nice. But... Uh, uh, then uh, I was left for some marks. I was not getting a seat. So again, I took a drop. And this time I took the Yakin batch. From there, I was uh, doing my preparation. Okay. Uh, did you had any hobbies or did you had any extracurricular activities? Yeah, I, I was having, I was very, I'm very good in uh, artwork. So uh, in some, whenever I get time, I do some creative works, paper works, uh, some drawing, sketching. But uh, in this journey, I was really getting some time to do this uh, extra thing. So, but uh, as soon as I was over with my exams, I was doing, doing the things which I was liking. Did this hobby uh, help you in preparation? Yeah, actually, uh, the my uh, doing all this, uh, the patience level increase or increases, 
and also uh, one can be focused and also some creative when you are creative uh, you try to do something more and that is the thing uh, required in any type of preparation so mainly patience like during the art work mm -hmm. you need a lot of patience and that patience helped you in need preparation excellent excellent yeah. Uh, do you have any inspiration? Who is yeah, your yeah. My elder sister actually she is not able to speak and uh, listen. So, but uh, she uh, able to clear her class tenth exam with uh, first degree, and then uh, she uh, done the diploma in computer science, and also now she is preparing for government jobs. So. She is my inspiration, uh, seeing her doing great uh, in her life. I also feel that with everything in my life, <laughs> I should also do something. Uh, so that's the inspiration for me. You know, I got goosebumps. I just can't, you know, believe like somebody who is in that position cracked like 10 standard and then did diploma and then preparing for the government exams. Like, I guess she is my inspiration to them. Great, great, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Uh, and this is a very unique story that I could hear. Yeah, and every time she is in front of me. So whenever I see her, I also feel like uh, I should do something. <laughs> because uh, whenever I see she is studying with, uh, with her books uh, mm -hmm. and focused towards mm -hmm. her goals. So I also feel like yeah, everyone should be like that. Yeah, your story is beautiful and hers too. Okay. Uh, yeah, something more academic I wanted to ask you. How many hours you dedicated for need preparation? Like how many hours uh, you used to study? Actually, uh, 12 to 14 hours. Uh, sometimes it uh, goes to uh, 15 hours. Sometimes it also goes to 10 hours. So it depends. Means uh, if I am able to complete my goal, which was set uh, uh, on the morning. Uh, uh, so th that was, is the thing. So. Okay, so up till 15 hours also you used to study. Mm -hmm. Means uh, if I am able to complete the goal, it's okay. But if not, uh, it uh, can go to... How many questions you used to solve in a day? Actually, uh, if I complete a topic, I try to solve 20 to 25 questions from that topic. So it was, go uh, it was going around 100 to 150 questions. 100 plus questions in a day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have some more questions to ask. What is your goal? What do you want to become exactly? Uh, actually, after completing MBBS, uh, I wanted to go for neurology. So, uh, yeah, I am wanted to become a neurosurgeon if I talk specifically. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, which subject, uh, you know, was more challenging? Which subject did you find more challenging? Uh, chemistry part, uh, actually chemistry in organic part, uh, that was a bit uh, learning part, so factual, so that was a bit tough for me, but uh, yeah, I was done uh, it with also. So how, how yeah. much did you score in chemistry then? 175. Out of 180? Yeah, actually my marks was all, all uh, lost all marks. I lost in botany only. Six questions gone wrong in botany itself. Otherwise, you found in... chemistry difficult and you scored 175. Actually, yeah. So how did that part happen? Like how that difficulty came, uh, you know, became easy later. That's how you were, you were able to score more, right? So how, uh, Sorry, I... difficult... yeah, tell me. I, I focused more on NCRT and notes. Uh, so when I was studying, uh, uh, our teacher told us to focus more in the notes because everything is covered in notes only. But uh, still after reading the NCRT, I means reading notes, again, I, once time I studied the NCRT, which uh, made me confident that if I get a question, anything other than notes, I will going to solve it. So that's made me... Uh, able to play it like that. So one last question I have. Uh, so what was the mistake that has been done by you in the first attempt? Uh, I was uh, not uh, dedicated also. I was not focused and I was not taking my studies seriously. Uh, if I would have taken my studies seriously at that time, uh, I was I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, I was able to get that uh, cut of marks at that time. 
so yeah actually the seriousness was not, not there hmm. so what is the message that you would like to give to your juniors uh the same thing uh, we have to be serious and we have to think that it's a competition exam and anything can happen so right. we have to uh, just believe in ourselves and uh, we have to think positively uh, if we are going to think negatively then uh, everything every negative thing will going to happen with us so yeah uh, we have to focus and always think in a right direction and always uh, just uh, try to do the things which was told by our teachers because uh, believing in teacher is very much important yeah. excellent okay uh, thank you so much rahul uh, you thank don't know you. how much you con you are contributing to the you know your juniors because all of these mistakes or all of these things that you have told na so if somebody carefully listen to this and if they follow na they are able to do good in their upcoming you know neat exams so thank you so much for joining and answering all of my questions all of our questions so that's all uh, all thank all you. the best for your future endeavors okay yeah thank you so much ma'am bye yeah bye bye bye, -bye.